There's a story about two men who went down to a lake one morning to do some trout fishing, and they stayed there all day. One man had a strange habit. Every time he catch a trout, he would pull out a little ruler and measure it. And if the trout measured larger than the ruler, he would throw it back. Strangely enough, he kept all the little trout that he caught, but he threw back all the big ones. Well, his partner watched that all day long, and as they prepared to leave, he looked at him and said, I can't stand this any longer. I have never seen a man fish like you ever in my life. He said, you've kept all the small trout and thrown back all the big ones. And the man said, sure did. He said, well, why did you do that? The man said, because I only have an eight-inch frying pan. Now think about that for a minute. Then rather than getting a bigger skillet, he was settling for smaller fish. I believe so often that God wants to give us a 12-inch blessing, but all we have is 8-inch faith. I'm going to tell you something, church, this morning. There's too many Christians that have docked their boats in the shallow water. You, can't, you could swim in shallow water, but too many people in the church are th asking for the life preserver to be thrown in shallow water. It's when you go out into the unknown chartered waters is where your faith really gets stretched. That's where, th that's where the rubber, so to speak, meets the road. 